Hi Gary, I'm Glenn Tilbrook and this is my first 80s choice. It was a song by a guy who I'd never heard of. Someone gave me a cassette, that's how long ago it was. And I absolutely got obsessed with it. There was this guy called Prince who no one had heard of. And he had a song called Dirty Mind and I played that song over and over again. And I think it's a blueprint for everything that came after for Prince. But simple, to the point and great hooks. My second choice, Gary, is I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For by U2. We had U2 open for us way, way back in the day, and then the next time we played with them, we were opening for them. We went to see the U2 show in the Sphere in Las Vegas. It's an incredible show. The visuals, everything is fantastic, but it's the way that they play. And they always have had a full force delivery, and I love them, I adore U2. My third selection is The Word Girl by Scritti Politti. Now, they were a band that I was obsessed with. It's a very 80s production. You know that every hi-hat has been edited to the nth degree, but it still manages to be a very soulful and uh, engaging track. I think it stood the test of time really well. My ultimate 80s choice is by the Psychedelic Furs, who we just finished doing some dates with in the UK. And uh, they're a terrific band. They really are still at the top of their game. And uh, this is the song that went absolutely ballistic for them. It's a title song. And indeed, the inspiration for the movie, Pretty in Pink. Hi, I'm Chris Difford from Squeeze, and my first choice of this wonderful 80s list is It Must Be Love by Madness. Congratulations, those guys, on having a number one album just recently. Fantastic news. It's a wonderful album, but It Must Be Love is a great track. It must be love, love. Let's Dance by David Bowie, and why not? I'm a huge fan of David Bowie, always have been. I saw him in 1972 in Elton College, and I've never looked back. His songwriting stands out so much. My third choice, West End Girls by the Pet Shop Boys. And why did I pick this? because I got to sing it just recently. It's a great track, and I've never rapped before in my life, so it was hysterical. My last choice on this 80s pick is Man Eater by Daryl Hall and John Oates. And why did I pick them? It's because they're a great duo and we toured with them a couple of years ago after COVID and they write such fantastic songs. You'll only 